there are people who are not very happy with the governor this week and uh, last week and you know because of these closings now technically Bentley is not closing parks and he is not closing driver's license offices this is a result of the budget B but what's the game plan here Baron I, it looks fishy well this is what happens the legislature sets a budget and then they leave town and go home and then the governor executes upon that budget, and they go, oh, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> the reality is they know exactly what he was doing. They knew what the results of the budget would be when they passed the budget. Uh, they either needed to make strategic cuts in other places if they wanted these services to continue to be offered, mm -hmm. or they needed to raise revenue sufficient to cover these services. But you can't have your cake and eat it, too. That's what they are telling their constituents they thought they had passed, and they're lying. Well, I think that's pretty straightforward. <laughs> Next topic. <That's> me. <laughs> people, you know, for the last year, I mean, in the last almost eight months, people have been upset about these state parks. And I think that's probably one of the trickeries of why they did that, because people are going to be yeah. outraged about yeah. state well, the, parks. The state parks are something loud that people, everybody understands. Mm -hmm. Not everybody cares that they, call, they uh, closed 31 driver's license offices. Now, now, they're just going to have to stand in line more. Right. Now, now, they're saying it only affects 5% of overall driver's license in the state. But what does that tell you? That tells you that these are in rural areas. They are out in very low, uh, small populations that they would have to drive a long distance to get a driver's license or a voter ID. It appears on the surface, at least from a cursory glance, that this is disproportionately targeting folks in the black belt and, and, and you know, and the racial minorities. I mean, it really does. I'm sorry. Well, and those are more rural areas. Yeah. And so if you're going to target rural areas for closures because they're not as busy, naturally, there's going to be a lot of overlap there. Right. But from an optics perspective, when you're requiring voter ID and then you go close the only place to get a voter ID in counties like Macon, Lowndes, Sumter, Hale, Green. Yeah. Uh, it, it's, it, it's bad optics, I'll say that. I love Spencer Collier. I think the world of him, I, I think oh, he does yeah. a great job. Um, but this is one that really doesn't look all that good. No, it doesn't. I, I mean, it may be, you know, not coincidental, but just the nature of how you have to do these things. But, I, I, you know, it, it is obviously that they're targeting more Democrats than they are Republicans. Well, so. just like you said, it's, it, it's numbers. It's business. It it's people that come in the yeah. door. I mean, that's, and when you, when you say Macon County, that's close enough to whether it's Lee County and Montgomery County or places like that and, and the Black Belt and there probably needs to be some more there but a lot of them are close to Tuscaloosa. Or... Yes. But then you have to take into the fact that a lot of these these communities are very poor and do they Certainly. have the money to do travel? Do they have the twenty dollars in gas it takes to get there and back? That's that's another Well, thing. I mean, you know, it's, it's bad all the way around. I don't know how you fix it.